down there. Got it. And they come here and they come through here. And so myself and Rose, the gentleman that's speaking right now, we coordinate the food banks twice a month. And then we'll get them checked in and we have a process for figuring out who goes what where and who gets what. We should be done within about an hour and a half serving over 100 families. By the time they get to you, usually, I mean, they'll let us know. Yeah. And so we'll, we can do the well, daisy we'll chain. Yeah, daisy chain. But worst case scenario, do you need diapers? Think about diapers and diaper wipes for those that um, need a replenishing supply. And we give just 12 diapers. And, and we would love to get additional assistance, either donations of money or donations of hygiene supplies um, to help uh, meet the needs of the clients. I don't know if she okay, told so you yeah. this, but we've doubled the numbers in the yeah, last yeah, yeah. month from 50 to 100. And that's, <laughs> that's quite a jump. The hygiene supplies that each of our families are getting this today. They're getting three toilet papers, a little bag of Kleenex, dish soap, bar soap, and a scrubber. And then we have um, these kind of supplies that come out of hotel rooms that a lot of people donate. So we're giving these out as well as a razor, female and male razor for this month. I've been volunteering with Stella for a couple of years now. And uh, last, uh, I think it was two weeks ago, we did uh, the event. I was lucky to be here. And it was so shocking to see how much uh, the community needs this help, uh, how all the cars lined up and how thankful they were uh, to be receiving this help. Uh, it was very humbling indeed and it was quite an experience.